Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. Ali with me in the uh -huh. studio. Also, Shaka Hislop joins us, as does. Oh, oh. There's me watching West Ham Everton. Uh -huh. Don Hutchison on the call. Oh. Game finishes, Don's line. What a great way to spend my birthday watching oh. West Ham and Everton <laughs> battle out this game. <laughs> well, it was. Oh. The sun was shining. No was subtlety to Stadium? it at all. It's my birthday, no. everyone. <laughs> no, I got asked the question. I got asked the question, have you had a nice day? And I said, yes. I spend it watching West Ham and Everton, two of my former clubs at the London Stadium in the sunshine. Amazing day. They just asked you if you had a nice day. And then you said, yeah, I had a lovely birthday. <laughs> yeah, but everyone knew it was my birthday, didn't well, they? they did after that. Well, well. <laughs> 50, Don, as well. Ooh, big one. Uh, let's, call it, let's call it 49 plus one. Yep, that's halfway line talk. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. 25 plus 25. <laughs> 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 Halfway line punch is back. Yeah. OK, now, I'm not sure if you saw this extraordinary story in baseball uh, over the weekend where basically the players made up quite the excuse mm -hmm. uh, regarding why they were fighting. Uh, there was an odd story over the weekend where two MLB bas um, baseball players were fighting over seeing a rat or a raccoon in the locker room. Seems made up to cover up teammates <laughs> fighting, you think? Uh, have you guys ever made up a crazy story to cover up a fight in the locker room or at training? Uh, Don, I feel drawn to you. Yeah, Shaka, were you at West Ham when De Canio started a fight? I think at half time, he picked on Ian Pierce, uh, Christian Daly, and I think Thomas Repka. And then all of a sudden, Paolo sort of moonwalked out the fight and left <laughs> uh, the other three guys at it because Paolo couldn't fight. Were you there? Were you there? Let me tell you. I, I, I do remember that one. I, I was I was involved in a little bit of a bust up with Paolo at halftime away to Birmingham City. But Paolo, Paolo could pick a fight with anybody. Paolo picked yes. a fight with nearly the entire dressing room, pre-season game, we play in Plymouth, pre-season game, we six up, Plymouth score in the last minute of a pre-season game, and Paolo comes in and starts throwing water bottles all over the dressing room. I, I don't know how to even explain that. Did you ever yo, have to use an excuse like, oh, they are fighting over whether or not it was a big rat or a raccoon uh, to cover up for the media? No. No. I found a dead no. raccoon once in my bin. Mm -hmm. oh. It wasn't very nice. <laughs> and how did you handle that, Dan? I called my neighbour to come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> he got a big snow shovel and walked over the bin. And in the end, he wasn't dead. He was sleeping. He just charged it off. Beautiful, beautiful raccoon story. A napping raccoon. <laughs> there was no fighting over it. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. Uh, exactly, yes. <laughs> For Don. Guardiola, Guardiola didn't play his best 11 for both the Chelsea games. Is Guardiola hiding his tactics for the final or didn't he want his best 11 to go into the final overconfident or fearful? Oof. No, I think uh, I think that tweet's going a little bit too deep. I think the semi-final he rested a few because he had a Champions League uh, semi-final to play. Uh, the weekend against Chelsea, he was always going to rest a few because he's got some big games coming up. I think the wonder is, um, if you're Thomas Tuchel and you're, and you're Chelsea players, I wonder if they think they've got Man City's number going into the Champions League final, so that might be interesting. But in terms of Pep not showing his hand, I'm not buying that one. Did you get any nice presents for your birthday, Don? <laughs> no, I got money, Dan. It was amazing. Really? Give it away to people begging or telling you stories. <laughs> no, I got money. I service. got money. It was amazing. <laughs> amazing. So, That's all you ever want. So what? Your wife just gave you a wad of cash and said, there you go. Happy birthday. Actually, actually she got me nothing. It was, it was all the guys cards. that I worked for giving money. Cards. It was amazing. Wait, who gave she you money? A chocolate cake. Who gave you she money? Got me a chocolate cake. Pardon? Who gave you money? Uh, the three guys that I work for. Oh, 50 wow. quid each. All oh, right, isn't that just your wages? Work with, sorry. <laughs> Work with. Jonathan Joseph, Leroy Rosinha and Seema Jaswell. Give me 50 quid each. Oh, can you imagine any of us giving each other money on their no. birthday? No! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what? It's, it's very strange. No! Well, it's better than a sort of rubbish present that you waste your money on. No, it's, I suppose... Can you imagine going to Stevie saying <laughs> we need $50 <laughs> for Shaka's birthday? <laughs> no! <laughs> not happening! <laughs>
<laughs> is Cavani the answer to Manchester United? Is dollars. Is Cavani the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's a uh, Shaka's age. Is Cavani the answer to Manchester United <laughs> making a push for the title next season, Ali? Or is he just a backup? They have to come up with more answers than just Cavani. Mm -hmm. And they also have to come up with the answer as to who's going to be better than Manchester City. And based on the evidence that we have seen with Thomas Tuchel, you also have to come up with the answer as to who's going to be better than Chelsea. So it's not just Manchester City that you're trying to beat. You figure that Liverpool is going to come back and be better than what they were this season. Manchester United with Edison Cavani will be better, but there are a lot of other things that they're going to have to figure out in that team. Don? I think reading between the lines, you know, Edison Cavani signing that new deal, I think that means Man United might be going for Jaden Sancho in the summer from the right-hand side. No. And I think it's, and they're going to bank on the emergence of Mason Greenwood, then taking Cavani's position full-time in a year's time. That's what I predict. Uh, we talked about that, of course, a lot on the show with Archie and Casey. Sancho moving to Manchester United. Meanwhile, Shaka, why is Penenka considered a humiliation? I think when Penenka attempted it for the first time, he was hailed for it. We'd love to know a goalkeeper's view. Well, it's, it embarrasses the keeper by, by that slow little, um, it, when it was initially done, it wasn't a slow ding, but it, it embarrasses the keeper. Um, the challenge to that is you get it wrong, it becomes an embarrassment to the striker. I, my experience, most players have no issue with a striker missing a penalty. They do take exception to a striker trying to be cute with it. And, and making a mess of it as Aguero did. Well, I put the tweet out today asking if anybody has any questions for the panel. We had over 250 replies. Mm -hmm. I would say over 200 one of those were percentage questions for Don. <laughs> so we've just chosen one. <laughs> Honestly, I promise you. What percentage chance do you give Leicester of bottling another top four finish? Ooh, I think... Um... I think 60-40. I think 60% they might bottle it. Wow. I think there's a 60% chance because of their fixtures. Yeah, terrible. I mean, how could you predict? How could you predict they would be 4-0 down against Newcastle at one point in the game? Yeah. Oh, Incredible. Awesome. So many injuries and the fixtures they've got are horrendous. Is Now, back in the day, this is quite a long time ago, there was something called the Shaka curse, which is basically whatever he predicted would go completely opposite way. Mm -hmm. And it was going on for a very long time. Uh, but is the Shaka curse dead, says this tweet, and now it's the Ali curse because mm. of all the La Liga predictions this season. <laughs> yeah, mm. Every La Liga prediction you've made has been wrong, Ali. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have been completely wrong. But, to be fair to me, I'm not alone in that. Barcelona has been wrong, Atletico Madrid has been wrong, Real Madrid has been wrong, all of them have been wrong. And just when you think that there's a team that's going to win it, just when you think they've generated enough momentum, this is a moment where you can trust them, they go and let you down. Story of my life, really. A lot of people in my life like that. I've let you down. Yeah, that's right. Oh dear, Ali. It's getting deep. <laughs> Very <Ooh>. deep. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, yeah. who is most likely to let you down? Uh -huh. Oh, no, who is most likely to be a key part in their team winning the title? Antoine Griezmann, Eden Hazard or Jao Felix? Wow. Who's, who's that squeaky door? Oh, who could it be? Shaka. Shaka. Always Shaka. <laughs> who's squeaking that door, Shaq? <laughs> uh, I have no idea, Dan. <laughs> no, no, yeah, definitely not. Mm. Um, that's a good question, by the way. It's a very good question. I'm going to say Antoine Griezmann. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it, it is difficult to pick Hazard to do anything. But then again, did he get that goal? They're this saying game? that he, it, obviously, he got the last touch. It's a game winner. I mean, yeah. a game tying goal. Mm, big moment for Real Madrid. I'm going to say Antoine Griezmann because, yeah, I, I suppose that he would have more of a role than Hazard and Joao Felix. About the Shaka's haunted house. Shaka, what training do you recommend to pursue a career as a war psychologist coach? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? A what wall psychologist coach. Oh, oi, oi, okay. Um, I, I, I don't know where to go with this, Dan. 
Oh, that's good, oh, Jack. That's good. Yeah, excellent. Don is an expert in walls. Don is still trying to pursue that theory that everyone should be facing the goal if you're in the wall. Uh, yes. Good job. Because they're not brave yeah. enough. Yeah. So if that's I was shot at a goalkeeper... I, 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 I'll hand this over to Don. Yes. Yeah. Get the wall facing the complete wrong way so they don't know when the ball's going to strike the back of their heads or not. Good. And according Instead to Don... ducking out the way. Yeah, you can be with your hands up. Yeah, and according you to Don, you just go like this yep. and away from the ball. Accidental. Yeah, and then, uh, Accidental. And then you turn like this as Dan did. Yeah. It, yeah. No handball. Yeah. <laughs> it's all an accident because you don't know or it's coming. Find them. <laughs> or set your wall up and if anyone moves out the wall, find them. Find them? Yeah, find them. $50, give it to you. Hey, exactly. Oh, more than that. More than that. <laughs> like, someone, like someone, like a professional footballer can't take a throw in. Find them as well. Weeks right. wages. The foul throws. Right, right. That's me. Don's finding everyone. I know. We're all in. That's because he's got money. That's yeah, it. That's... <laughs> what are you going to spend your money on, Don? Your birthday money <laughs> at 50? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I've got 150 to blow. I don't know. You have to get something for your bike. Have you got those clicky shoes that people have? Get some of them. No, 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 no. no. That is Wait. not me. Wait a second. Don't go Wait a clicky second. shoes. Wait a second. Is Don going around in the bike with the spandex and the whole thing? Don't no, know. no, no, I'm mountain bike alley, so I get in the mud. I like yeah, the mud, I like all the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Don likes to post it on social media, him covered oh. in dirt. Oh. Here I am, after my bike ride. <laughs> Fresh yeah. off my birthday. Yes, he got hit by yeah. a van. Do you remember that? Shaka laughed, rude. <laughs> yeah, that was Shaka. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Shaka, loves it. Yeah, that would have been funny to see. <laughs> Ruined his bike. <laughs> oh, I've man. seen nothing. Bad I've seen after this. <laughs> Ah, right, where are we now? Ask Stan, does he still think Chelsea ain't making top four? No, I believe I will change my mind on that opinion, and I believe now Chelsea will make top four. Okay. Finally, Shaka, have you ever conceded a goal that left you in awe? Mm. <laughs> well, when Don <laughs> scored on... Time. Yeah, when Don... <laughs> When Don score on him no, from no, the halfway no. line, Don's never scored at me. Yeah, from the halfway line, you don't remember Don, that? Don, Don's never scored at me from anywhere. <laughs> you know, Shaq. You know, in training, I'm I've locked you from the halfway line before. <laughs> you never, you've Don. <laughs> uh, no chance. Uh, no chance. Don's never scored at me. Now I'm in training. What was the best goal no, you ever conceded, Shaq? Best goal ever, Max. Oh God, um, conceded conceded quite a few, Dan. Yes. <laughs> Letizia had a few. I remember conceding one at Stanford Bridge opening day of the season. That probably would have been 2000, 2001 season. I conceded one at Stanford Bridge. That was, I think, it made top ten of the season. You know, it was yeah, it was bad. I can't remember who it was against. Right. That one was good. Yeah. Don, what's the best goal that you've seen in I've opposition? I've seen a few goals in my career, Dan. Yeah, I know, Shaq. That's I can't all right. remember. There's I not... can't remember with Shaq, because I don't think it would hit... You weren't in goal, Shaq, for the Letizia goals against Newcastle. That was Mike Hooper, wasn't it? Uh, I've conceded quite a few from Letizia. <laughs> I'm not sure what goals you're talking about. Well, the ones, that, the ones, the worldies that he scored against Newcastle, I think that was Mike Hooper in goal. You were on the pitch for them, yeah, Don? No, I was just a fan. Oh. That was a long time ago. Because Shaq is, you know, a fair few years older than me. What about ones you were on the pitch for, Don? Best goals I've seen? Yeah. I'm only 50. I'm Ish. not two yeah. years older than you. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, that's a tester. No, that's a tester. Can't think that far back. You any any messy specials? What, Ronaldo? Yeah, well, I've, I've seen a few of those up close and personal. But more importantly, in regards to this conversation, Shaka may have not conceded goals to Don Hutchison. However, he has conceded goals to me! Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> get it! Get it! <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Woo! On that very desperate and sad note for Shaka Hislop. I know, oh, that God. is desperate and that is sad. That brings you let the yourself end down, of today's Jack. show. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Don. Lots of love to you from all of us. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for more as we'll be reflecting on Leicester. $60 is in the post, Don. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.